Hi everybody, it's Julie, and we're here for another segment of our Cereal Box Beginner's Junk Journal Series. Today we are doing how to add lines um, to our journals. Um, this can be adding them to cards, adding them to tags, adding them to pages, all different kinds of ideas for adding lines. So we're going to start out with the obvious, which is, you know, cards that have lines on them already. Um, by taking and adding a paper onto the back of, that has lines, and especially lines, if you're making your journal for yourself and you have a certain size line that you like or a certain paper, adding that, um, for your writing is always a good idea. So adding lined paper, you can um, add scrap lined paper. So this was in my mom's stash and um, there were little cards that you hand out like at a retreat or something. And But you can take and just cut just the lines out of your lined papers. Um, Guest checks, one of the reasons I love to use them is because they have lines, and some of them have lines on the back also. So the other guest check that I like to use, you'll see me use this one, also has lines on the back. Okay, so just, you can take a guest check and add that. Um... And that is pro probably why I decorate guest checks a lot. Um, note papers. So note papers are another one where the lines are already made. Um, maybe the, the color, the spacing, everything is perfect. And so that is a great place for lines. Game cards. So this is a Yahtzee total sheet. And it gives, it gives you lines. So great lines for a junk journal. Um, stencils. So this was from a bar Bible journaling set of stencils. And so there you can just go ahead and um, stencil. And, you know, that's a, a great way. So I have a couple of other stencils. I have this one. These are from way back in the day, like in the 80s. <laughs> um but there's, there's more stencils that you can go ahead and stencil and have uh, writing space. So that is a great way. You can stencil stripes and that can give you writing space. So this is uh, close to my heart, which is, uh, was dots. When, and I, I mean, I haven't sold these for a long long time like 25 years yeah so um, but you can go ahead and stencil and stencil in stripes and that would give you lines yay yay for stripes um, speaking of stripes if you have a scrapbook paper that has stripes even at a diagonal so of course you can go ahead and you know, put it on there so they're straight, but you can go ahead and write in at the diagonal. So another thing that, um, if you remember, there's a video from last year where my mom used a coloring book and she wrote on the circle, on the lines, but even though that they went like in circles and stuff and she journaled on those lines in a coloring book. And so I believe that's from one of the May videos from last year. So another great way is if you have stamps that have lines. So these are some of my favorites to use. Of course, the happiness card. I love the happiness card. Um, this is a Hampton Arts stamp. And... Um, Oh, Seven Gypsies. It is Hampton Art, but it's Seven Gypsies. Um, collections from the journey. And 
10 things that make me happy, 4 things that make me ecstatic. And so that's the happiness card stamp, but it has lines. Then just a regular line stamp. This one is Stamp Abilities, and I got it at Hobby Lobby. Um, I was just I, back when I was looking for um, stamps. So this is been a, this has been a great stamp for me. Um, I stamp this lighter than the colors. Um, it's the size. It's little, and I like I like the size of this. And I go ahead and I write in the white part, and it can go into the, the black line. Um, but I'll do this with a lighter stamp and go ahead and stamp this. And um, if I only need a certain part, then I just ink the part that I think I'm going to need. So I'll be showing you that in a, in a couple minutes. So another thing is to use a ruler and a pen. I actually, this was from my dad and it, it moves down the paper. I love it. And it has the ruler here. So you can literally go, you can set it and then you can come down and write your, you know, you can write your line at every half inch or or however you want to to make it so another great way is using cardboard you've seen me do this um, this is the easiest besides stamps this is the easiest and it's right there I have these already made up and I have the long this fits on a tag really well this one also fits on a tag or a pocket but I also um, use this one on pages and so this one we'll go ahead and it's just a piece of corrugated cardboard and you go ahead and you take off the top layer okay whichever when you look at it you'll be able to tell probably which layer is going to want to come off and you just grab it and start pulling and then you'll have to clean it up Go in and clean it up, and um, it does take a few minutes, but probably less time than it would take you to go to the store and buy one. And I like, you know, even if it has a little bit of um, where it comes down a little bit or whatever, that's just character, I think. So this would be, uh, and you can go ahead and cut it down. So this, this is actually bigger than what I would want because most of my pages are five and a half inches. So I probably at the most would want this to be five inches. I think I'm going to go for four and three quarters. And, um, so let's go ahead. We'll just go ahead and Cut it down. Don't have to cut it much. Okay, that at least gives me the line. We can go ahead and, and we can cut a straight line. Maybe. Okay. So you can go ahead and continue. You might find a piece of cardboard that's even easier than this to pull off. Or you might have in your stash. Um, cardboard scrapbooking paper, corrugated scrapbooking paper that is already ready. Now that, if you're going to use that, it's going to be more flimsy and you'll want to attach it to something so that, um, so that you can use it. Okay. So there, that is the cardboard. And so next we're going to go with rubber bands. This is a great one. Um, the only thing is, is you want to remember that your rubber bands, you know, you want them to be really pliable, but remember that rubber bands have a shelf life. Okay. They literally will eventually just fall apart. So this is not a, probably not a forever tool. And I was reminded that when I went to get mine and it was, um, yeah, 
half of it had disintegrated. <laughs> okay, so for this, um, I have some uh, really good sturdy board here. And I am going to take, I like college ruled paper, okay, for my personal journal. And so I could either take this ruler and mark it, or I can just take some um, of my favorite paper. If you like wide ruled paper, or if there's just a notebook that you like, and I'm just going to go along and I'm going to mark my edge. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and mark it all the way. Okay, so if I line it up to the top, I'm going to be perfect. Okay. And you can go ahead and make it however long that you're going to want it to be. I'm going to want it a little longer. I'm going to mark it now. I'm not going to, um, you'll see me use this later with the full page, but today we'll just do a piece of it, but I might as well mark it while we have it. Okay, so. And I think I want to go down to like seven inches, so we'll go down a little further. Okay, and I'm going to mark both sides. Okay. We'll mark, mark. Marking both sides. I don't know how many more we need. Looks like two. It's okay if I have an extra one. It'll be fine. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and I... And I've already measured across that that's... Remember, we cut that. Um, measured across. Or actually, we cut it on the cardboard. But I was I had measured this before. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my... Um, craft knife, exacto knife, and I'm going to go ahead and go into these indentions, or mark these, and go in just a little bit. I'm making my own stamp here, okay? So it's worth it to do the extra little bit, and to have this, because um, I can even use this for my digitals when I'm making my digitals. Like I said, I'm, I'm going through and reworking my craft room, A, B, C. So A is things that I use all the time. B is things that I use every once in a while. And C is stuff that could be put away. And um, so I'm finding things. <laughs> I'm finding things. But when I found the rubber band thing that I made, it was mostly disintegrated. So, but since, um, you know, you want to add lines to your journals, probably, I thought, well, that's a good beginner's series idea um, for a video but it's also you know I think that having your mind refreshed I know just finding the thing in this in the tool stash 
was um, a reminder to me. And, whoop. okay, so there we go. So I can go ahead and cut this down. I should have used the, the new recollections one. Because it would have cut all the way through. And, um, yeah, when you're looking, if you're in the market for a new um, cutter, I would recommend one that is one of the ones that cuts through several, several papers. Okay, so I have uh, rubber bands. They are from, um, actually from our newspaper. And I'm going to go ahead and put them in. And I want them to go, and I should have maybe made my little holes a little bigger, which is fine. At least they're marked with the... We're just going to do a few, okay? They need to be a little bit bigger to hold the, the rubber band. We'll just do four for right now, okay? That's not a good scissors. <laughs> okay, so go in and just jimmy it around a little. You just want to make the an indentation where you can actually put your, your rubber band. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to go through. And I'm going to turn it in half. And I should be able to get two lines out of each of my rubber bands. Okay, so there's two lines. And this rubber band was bigger. And look at there, that one broke. Stretch it before you... <laughs> okay, so putting it on, twisting it, and then putting it on. Okay, and you can go ahead and have it like this, but you're going to get... Um, oh, well, I'll just leave it like that so that you can see that you're going to have that characteristic is going to show up. So you see by doing that, these are inside that. And you can also, I mean, this would give you a cool pattern stamp on the other side, or you can tape this side down so it doesn't move. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you how this is going to stamp. And... I have one of these little index cards, which is something that I would stamp. Okay. You could do this on an acrylic uh, block also, but the thing about doing it like this on here is that, um, and just press it down. And there you have the lines, okay? So, and you can see on the twirly one, you get that, that effect there. Okay. So that is another way of making lines. And again, using your favorite, uh, line, um, favorite size line is a great idea. So let's go ahead and we'll show you line so we have a tag here that I had made and actually let's go this way
can just go ahead, turn it over, press it down, and there, just really lightly, I have the lines on there. You can use black also, of course, and um, So another thing, it, well, here's the other one. So you can see this one is different size. Um, it does have characteristics in it that some of it got left. Some of the cardboard got left on there. So it will show up. You will get that characteristic. So there. Um, so that is a way to add lines there. Now let's go ahead and see if we have pipe there. Yay, a page. Okay, so if you need um, you know more lines than what is showing on your more lines than these whatever eight lines that I have here, seven, eight lines then you can go ahead and you can just line them up just like you would a stamp okay okay so the cool thing is is you prop and then if you just need a little line you can go and just add a little line little line so like if you're collaging and you have a, pl a plain place you can go ahead and just add a few lines and you can line your paper before you stencil and add things just like I've done here and I will probably use this page in my next journal just to give you um, an idea so that is that type of lines and Remember, we'll have our rubber band. So this, um, let's see. Grab another paper. Okay, so I have this uh, that we've been using. Let me use that piece. So this is a journal that I took apart and I've been using. So again, you can go ahead and just add your add your ink. Now, if you have a stamp that's never been used before, I have another one that's like this, and it's um, the lines are um, drawn, and um, so it works really, really well too. Okay, so let's go over this way. I'm gonna put it down, or I could have put the paper on top of. Large stamps are interesting to add, but you see, you have that, and then you can. What I do is I write in this way. I use this in my scrapbooking. And um, you can go in and write in those white, and it gives you a line. So isn't that cool? Isn't that isn't that cool right there? That's a cool page. So um, yeah. So there's that. And of course, stamping you just stamp. That is that is pretty pretty obvious. And so those are ways to get some some of the ways that I get lines. So let's show you in, in our journal, we've even already done some of the ways. Okay, so um, so for journaling lines, one of the things that I use is ledger paper. You can write on ledger paper, on plain music. So you can write in between your music lines, if you're writing in a different color or a, or a darker pen, you can even write 
on the dot paper, either in the dots, in between the dots, you know, it, and it will give you a line. Okay, here we've used a guess check. Here we have lines on our digital. So this is from the Antique Roses Digital Kit. And there, look at there, we've added lines from a guest check to the back of that tag. So this would be a really good place to add, add some lines on that, that page. Here we've used note card paper, or note paper, and we have lines. A things to do list, and we have lines. Here we have a calendar from a calendar book, and we have lines. Note paper with lines. Oh, here's another list with lines. So picking up note papers that have lines is a is a great addition to um, to your journal. Here we have another another one of the digitals and then we have lined paper and a lined notebook with the lined calendar page in the back the dots we talked about already ledger paper ledger paper and the music more of the note paper so here um, no it's here on this side okay so here I ripped out from the note paper and added it here and then we have note paper here also so using several of the different ways to get lines, we've added lines into this journal. And, um, okay. Yeah, and the thing is, is if you're making a journal for yourself and you know that there's a certain size line that you like, I highly recommend that you, you know, that that's where you spend, um, you know, your money on paper. Here's a small ledger. And we have lines. And that that be where you um, you invest and it because that's what you'll use. It, even if you're making them to sell, we just so you know that um, you probably sell to people that are similar to you. And like similar things that you like. And that's just that's just the way it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna add this in to our journal. Um, I'm gonna want to put something behind. So if I over over spray it doesn't go on to the next page. Okay. And I'm just holding it down so that it will, so the ink will take into the paper. Okay. So there, you might be able to get a second impression off of this, but this is on some um, wallpaper. I really like that. I don't know if it's going to, um, to bleed and I don't want it to bleed onto the paper next to it. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. In. and let's see okay so the other thing I wanted to show you was the um, was drawing your lines okay and that's just because there's different ways of drawing your lines of course you can just come in and draw straight lines but you might 
I'm going to use this because it was right here. Okay, so this is from the Mimi's Flowers digital kit, and my mom actually painted these. And so I thought it was really cool to be able to use it in a journal, a digital kit, and to pass that on. And yeah, it's really special this week because it's uh, her birthday on May 1st. Today, when you're seeing this video, it's her birth. It would. It's her second birthday in heaven. Okay, so I want my. This is my favorite kind of pen. It's a Bic Smooth. It's my favorite. So I mean, I think I, most of us. And I'm gonna clean my pen, okay? Because they do all pen, not all pens, but I've noticed that pens get gloppy, and I don't want. Uh, a gloppy pen. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this at two. Okay, I'm going to make sure that I am straight with the bottom and that my marker is on two. And I'm going to go ahead and just go across. Then I'm going to come down to this marker and I'm going to go across and you'll notice that I'm going to um, not have my my um, lines be perfect So this just gives me another way of adding lines and uh, this is something that I love to do in scrapbooking and in my December daily is, you know, sometimes it's like when I'm actually scrapbooking, I know that this is what I'm going to write and I can write, I can um, make my lines in proportion to what it is I'm going to write. So um, there you can just go ahead and use a ruler. And, you know, if you don't have the rolling ruler with the ruler, you can just go, you can either mark it. Another thing you can do is, um, you know, just like, just like we did on the other, you can put your paper out on the outside. Okay, so we'll use that. So let's turn this over and let's go ahead and even though it probably will go in there differently, I'm going to line this lined paper up with the bottom of this and then I'm going to line up here. Scissors out of the way. Okay. And I can use the lined paper as my guide. Much easier and faster than measuring it. So there you go. You have some lines in the midst of your um, lilies. So... There you go. Several different ways of adding lines to your paper. Um, was there something new that you had never seen? I would love to hear about it. Which one was your favorite? I do love the rolling ruler. And um, this, this right here is one of my favorite ways to journal is on um, the, the stamp that's different. So... So let's go through what we did real quick. So we did our lines like this. We did our rolling ruler. We talked about being able to use music for lines. We used our cardboard pieces. Okay, so I showed you that you can take apart the cardboard and, and then just keep them. After you've made them, just keep them and you can use them. And you can use them in a variety of ways. Um, you can also make a template out of your rubber bands. 
So we showed that. Um, this was more of the cardboard. Cardboard rubber bands. Um, so a variety of stamps and stamps that have um, lines on them. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll show you stencils. I dropped the other one. And stripes. So stencils and stripes. And I am really liking my stencil brush. Or actually, it's a makeup brush that I picked up at uh, Dollar General. And it works. It's working really, 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 really well. So this is a, an index card we have here. And we'll go ahead and just use this stencil right here that is an oval. I'm going to go ahead and kind of figure it out. See if I can get it sort of straight. And then you just go ahead and there you go. Okay, so there you can stencil lines and use those. This one is the large stripe, so there's also a small stripe. Um, I don't know if they still, if Close to My Heart still has these or not. So for this, I'm going to get out my little book. Okay, and you can go straight or not so straight, however you want to do. I'm going to hold it down over here on this side because we're on this book. Okay, but do line it up. Or or for sh or totally don't line it up so that it looks like it's totally on purpose. That might even be the better way to go. Okay. So there's this. And then I'm going to show you another way to get stripes that is faster than going to find your um, your stencil. Okay. So there you have stripes. Woohoo! Stripes. And put our stencil over here. And so another way to do stripes is to have a straight edge. Okay, so we have our straight edge here. And you can just go ahead and stencil at your straight edge. And again, you could use your um, some kind of lined paper on the edge there as your guide. So this is one of my favorite ways to change a page is adding stripes. Okay, so stripes and lines for journaling or just for decoration or embellishing. There you go. Okay. So that gives you another another way to make lines. So I hope you enjoyed this video on adding lines and journaling spots to your journals in a variety of ways and because this is one of our while we are home series trying to show you things that you don't have to have a tool you don't have to have the stamp you might just have rubber bands or some corrugated cardboard um, 
or you might just have a ruler and a pen or you might just have the edge of a page and um, so again remember you can do this like we did the where we lined up the lined paper at the edge and you can just move um, move your straight edge down the lined paper so you just go like this and just move down the lined paper to get your to get your lines okay so a variety 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 of ways to get lines don't forget your game sheets your children's uh, writing paper note papers cards project life cards um, one side of those is usually for journaling so if you have project life cards or if somebody says hey I've got some project life cards and you're like I don't even know what those are um, they probably have a design on one side and a place for journaling on the other so say yes you can always move them along if <laughs> if they don't work for you um, guest checks and the backs of guest checks look there's lines down here you can um, you know, pages that my mom had, uh, like Mary Kay list things and from a couple of her other things, uh, list papers. And so you can even, you know, repurpose those papers. There you go. You have a journaling spot. And you know, I could go through and take all those apart and have them. Of course, I have the daisy, too. <laughs> um, okay. Corrugated cardboard, rubber bands, ruler, and pen. Which one is your favorite? Um, oh, and don't forget about coloring books, graph paper, and any striped paper that even like scrapbook paper okay so which one's your favorite which one is your favorite to use and i'd love to know what is your favorite size of writing paper like i said i like college ruled paper um i like to draw i like to write on smaller like this but I, now with my thumb it, it my thumb gets cramped so um i don't get to do i don't use that as much anymore but college world is my favorite size of lines and do you have a favorite type of pen this is just a regular Bic pen smooth um, and they are like one point instead of point something they're either one point or two point um, tip so the tip is a little fatter and that's my favorite and I like my writing um, so one of the things about journaling is is a good pen, a pen that you love. And I have these pens also in colors. So this one's a 1.6. So that's uh you know that's pretty smooth. That's pretty big, but you can see how globby it is. I and mean, you saw me a little while ago clean mine off because um the other day I went to sign something that I was gifting and I ended up with a goobity glob on the on the thing I was signing and it was like oh my gosh I have this whole project done I'm going to sign it and the pen was gloobity glob so um, so make sure you clean your pen so just a couple of little extra um, tidbits in there and um, I hope you're enjoying this series I hope you're doing well at home find something to celebrate every day don't forget to go to watch another video because YouTube really likes that. I've given you a couple suggestions up here. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.